x upon mod x is going to be either plus 1 or minus 1. But see, the ratio is greater than minus x and therefore x has to be something positive. See, mod x will be positive. If x is positive, then the ratio will be positive and negative of x will be something negative, positive greater than negative. If x were negative, this part will become negative and this part will become positive and therefore x cannot be negative, x has to be positive. But that's all we can deduce from statement 1. Whether it is greater than 1, we cannot say. This will hold for x is equal to 2 also. This will hold for x is equal to negative 0.5 also. Sorry, positive 0.5 also. So whether x is greater than 1 or mod x is greater than 1, that cannot be said. 1 doesn't help much. 1 upon x greater than x, this is possible in two conditions. When x is a small fraction such as say x is equal to 0.2 or when x is a big negative number such as x is equal to minus 2. Imagine 1 upon minus 2 will be negative 0.5 which will be greater than negative 2. So again, a lone statement 2 is not sufficient. In this case, we are getting no as an answer. In this case, we are getting yes as an answer. Now let's combine and check. On combining, we know from statement 1 that the only condition is that x should be positive. And from statement 2, we know that x can be a small positive number less than 1 or x can be a large negative number smaller than minus 1. Combining the two conditions, this case can be eliminated and therefore we know that x is a small positive number, something less than 1 and therefore we are getting no as an answer on combining. On combining, we got no as an answer. C is the right answer choice. A very, very good question this one.